Um, Sal, I'm sure you're intrigued to know what this is all about. I'm for Sal, I've been dying to know. Okay. Well, this is... Well, I've written some questions here. Was, is he... How would you generally describe your world view? My world view? Yes. That's a very broad question. It, it is. It hours to respond to. Well, more recently it's changed. I think I've gone to a more kind of fuck it lifestyle where really a lot of things kind of mean less and we should just try and live less to be happy but just more to be content with ourselves. It's a real That's big really question. How do you generally deal with bad news? <sighs> Current kind of bad news is quite often during down special I've got to run. Just run the stress off. Maybe scream a bit in a field somewhere. And then run back and pretend things are normal. What do you think when I say, Amor Fatty? Amor Fatty? I think you're trying to speak Italian badly for love fatties. <laughs> what am I meant to say to that? No, that's, that's good. So, Amor Fatty is Latin. It's a Latin phrase that may be translated as love of fate or love of one's fate. Oh. It is used to describe an attitude in which one sees everything that happens in one's life, including suffering and loss, as good or, at the very least, necessary. Moreover, amor fati, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, is characterised by an acceptance of the events or situations that occur in one's life. This acceptance does not necessarily preclude an attempt at change or improvement, but rather it can be seen to be along the lines a sense of contentment with one's life and an acceptance of it such that one could live exactly the same life in all its minute details over and over for all eternity. What do you, what do you think about that? Oh, I don't know what I meant to comment. Yeah, what, just, what, the things I just said. Yeah. Initial. I really like that. It's something that I, after reading this book that you gave me, I've been trying to uh, do a bit more. I'll be feeling stressed or maybe nervous about something. I tell myself not to not be stressed or nervous, but to feel... It's okay that I'm stressed or nervous. I need to accept that, not try and change it, but understand that this is a situation where I'm going to be stressed or nervous. So I very much like that little uh, quote. What are your thoughts on nihilism, as it were? Or, like, in response to like this, and this as a response to it? Um, in general, mm. when I hear the word nihilism, negative response. I think these are people very rude. I think they're probably just moaning and whining. <laughs> this is where you get on with it a little bit. I'm not a philosopher, I'm just some guy. That's why I'm assuming you're not actually using it. Uh, no, I think that a lot of what they do is just kind of, you've got to get on with this stuff. However, I understand actually that that can be changed into a much more positive experience and just kind of letting life flow over you, rather than not caring about anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just get that clear to the camera. <laughs> not as a waste of time. <laughs> I hope in the future I don't have to be thinking about negative stuff like that and have to think, oh, I'm going to have to deal with this, but I'll just forget about it. But I hope in the future I'll just live a happy life. And won't have to think about nihilism. But I guess at the moment I do. But now an answer. Any, uh, any closing remarks you want to make about or you thought about, about this? About, uh, either about the idea or just about this interview? <laughs> you can, any closing remarks? <laughs> or about anything, anything really. This is your, your time. Um, no, I think it's an interesting way of living. I mean, ultimately, I think that people should listen to how other people live and try and learn from them, but you shouldn't force this kind of thing on people. There's a lot of people that I know who won't want to live like that and it wouldn't work for them to live in a, a more fatty kind of way. It just doesn't work. But for certain people, it does. I think for me, it might do. I'm interested to see how that style of living does work for me in the future. Also, fuck the fat cats. <laughs>